As the last wave of you, as kids heads back to school, parents are concerned their children will get seriously ill if they catch COVID-19. A strong majority support requiring universal mask wearing and teacher vaccinations amid the surge in pediatric COVID cases. Still, parents are eager for their children to return to classrooms, and they're more skeptical of online learning now than they were last school year. That's according to a new USA Today slash Ipsos poll, which found declining optimism about distance learning as schools, having just reopened, close or go back online. Across the U.S., more than 1,000 schools have already halted in-person learning because of COVID-19 outbreaks. Thousands of children are quarantined. Just half of parents feel their district adequately prepared students for remote instruction, a 15 percentage point drop from last May. Concerns are especially high among black parents, just 37% said their children were well prepared for distance learning. Parents' confidence that their children will eventually be able to make up any lost ground has also taken a dip. A majority of parents said online learning has caused their children to fall behind. These sentiments may help to explain why most Americans are in favor of resuming in-person learning. Among parents of school children, 7 in 10 support returning to full-time instruction in classrooms. Support is strongest among white and Asian parents and weakest among black and Hispanic parents, communities that have been harder hit by COVID-19. The poll was conducted online between August 30 and September 1 among roughly 2,000 adults in the U.S. About a fifth are parents of school children. The poll had a credibility interval, akin to a margin of error, of plus or minus 2.5 percentage points. Shivia Leventhal, a 39-year-old mother of two in the Dallas area, is one such parent. She kept her seven-year-old son home all last year, in part because he wears glasses and wasn't crazy about masking. But the second grader was so hungry to return to the classroom this year and is now in school. He's gotten used to wearing a mask and understands it helps to keep him and others safe. Being together and wearing masks is better than the isolation of everyone being home, said Leventhal, a Democrat. The problem is, masking was optional at his school this year, at least until recently. Texas is one of more than half a dozen states that ban school mask requirements. Leventhal's school district in late August issued a temporary mask mandate amid ongoing litigation throughout the state challenging the ban's legality. Before that change went into effect, Leventhal said, case numbers at the school grew exponentially dash by the last week of August, nearly 800 cases had been reported, her district's data show. Percentage-wise that's not that high, said Leventhal, noting the district serves more than 50,000 students. But it's so much higher than it needs to be.